Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig's stuff. Craig's stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Craig's stuff. Well, my name is Craig, and this is some of my stuff. This is the new Star Wars Black Series. I guess you can call this like the deluxe line. I really don't know. Whatever. Star Wars Black Series. Biker Scout with Speeder Bike. Speeder Bike, oh, or this Speeder Bike with Biker Scout, as it says on the box. This is awesome. Um, this wave just came out. It's got two figures in the set. This and Jabba the Hutt. I'm sure I'll get a Jabba eventually and I'm sure there'll be a review of Jabba too. Uh, just, I figured right now I'll hold off on Jabba. I got this one now. I'm really excited because this thing is killer as hell. Um, so we'll take a look at the box. Um, it's the same basic design as the other Black Series in the line. Although this the blue line instead of the orange and the uh, six inch figures. Um, it's obviously a lot bigger of a box with a nice open window to see the uh, figure inside. Has a nice little picture of the Biker Scout up top. And the bottom it says in blue lettering, Speeder Bike with Biker Scout. Star Wars The Black Series at the bottom. Nothing on this side, nothing on this side, nothing on this side. On the back, we have um, a nice, uh, like, shadowed picture of the Biker Scout with uh, a little information here at the top and a quote. Call for help. Go! I guess it says that when they go chase him on Endor or something. When they're chasing Luke and Leia. I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> hey, whatever. Um, and then there's this nice blue stripe there, too. At the bottom is, uh, of course, Upside down. that. And it also shows here, uh, attach the stand for a hovering effect. Which is cool, you can attach the stand and make it look like it's hovering. So I'm really pumped for this figure because it's awesome. So uh, how about we pop this sucker open and, uh, and we'll take a look at him. All right, everybody, check him out here. We have the speeder bike, Scout Trooper. Bob. Out of the box. Okay, enough, enough dilly-dallying. I'm going to actually just make it a little bit easier. I am going to review, uh, obviously, both parts of this thing separately. But first, I'm going to talk about them together because... Um, you know, that's how, it comes. that's how it comes. So, uh, first thing I want to talk about, uh, he obviously he fits very well on this thing. He doesn't like sit perfectly on it, but I guess you know you're not really supposed to. You're supposed to be you know st like standing on it, kind of like when you're on a bike going you know up a hill. He's, he's gunning it, so he's just like you know. He's not cruising yet. He's not just cruising around. He's gunning it, so he's got to be up a little bit. Um. Also, his hands fit exactly around the uh, the throttle, the, the yes. handles, the handles on the on the, on the speeder bike, which are really good. And not only that, but um, the feet things they actually have pegs, oh. which is really cool. So there's actually a peg. Oh, that thing fell off. You just broke it. There's actually Sorry. pegs in there, and. Um, how does this thing go back on? Let's see. Little technical difficulty right here. Ah, here we go. It just actually fits right in the bottom of there. So, his peg, his feet just fit right into the pegs, which is really cool. Also, this stand, it has little uh, circles on it, and those fit right into the bottom on that circular thing there. So that's really really nice and you can put it in any way if you want it to be a little lower uh, higher whatever depending on how you want to position him alrighty here he is off the speeder bike 
Uh, I want to just point out, I did have a little trouble getting him to stand. He doesn't seem to stand as well as uh, the other figures in the set, but he is standing now. And this figure is incredible. Oh, there you go, see? Yeah. And this figure is awesome. Uh, I want to point out, it is a completely different sculpt than the uh, the regular Stormtroopers. They didn't, re they didn't seem to reuse any parts at all. Like, all the arm armor, everything is totally different. Um, which is really nice. So, uh, we'll first talk about his head sculpt. His head sculpt's really nice. Uh, I love the visor and how it's done. There's even sculpted detail on his little uh, breather section there, which is really, really cool. Um, and even on the back, there's a little sculpted detail on there. Really, really cool. Uh, moving on to his chest. Everything, his chest is all sculpted. All the... Um, the black on his arms, it look, it made to look like, uh, I guess, a more leathery type material. It looks really, really good. So, really think that's awesome. Uh, check it, We can check out his nice butt over there. He has nice dirt on his shoes. He does have dirt on his shoes. I'm going to talk about that later. If you just give me a damn chance to talk about the dirt in the shoes. Sir. God. All right. Uh, uh, the armor on him is really, really well sculpted. Um, there's really no, uh, I really don't have any issues at all with them. At least sculpt wise, there's really nothing. Um, pants look amazing. Everything down here on his legs look awesome. Nothing super like special going on, but the, it's still a really nice sculpt. He doesn't have. Although I guess this thing on his pants, it is a slightly different material and it is uh, attached. It isn't attached there. He also comes with a gun that fits right here into his uh, side holster that fell out. So uh, it's right there on the floor. <laughs> See if can you can get it. Could you? Oh, thank you. So uh, he comes with this little tiny, uh, I guess, pistol. So, and that fits right into his little side holster but does not stay in there very well it'd be nice if uh, they made it just a little maybe deeper whatever just a way for it to actually stay in without you know falling out so that's a little bit of a shame uh, I'd like to talk about the paint too um, again another the, uh, this figure there really it's all paint there's really no use of just plastic uh, colors. I mean, I'm sure they used like a white plastic, but it's still uh, painted over it. There's tons of paint details on him, from like the dirt on his chest. He's of course got dirt on his boots, as someone stated earlier, because uh, they are they were on Endor, so you know it was very dirty. Um, there's even some paint yeah, paint on his little backpack thing. All the uh, the lines, everything it looks really really nice. A little bit of gray here on the back of his belt which is really cool even uh, on his chest here it looks a little it's a little dirty um, just like grays and stuff that you used which is really nice so Hasbro's just getting better and better with these figures and uh, really really like that there um, we'll talk about the joints too you of course you get head motion all the way around you get your elbow, or no, sorry, I always confuse the elbow. Upper arm, upper arm motion. You get your elbow joint. That's actually double jointed elbow. Wrist joints. So it goes side to side there and spins all the way around. Your chest does move a little bit. It spins, but it will move a little up and down, but these pouches here are blocking it. I did kind of pull one off before. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it, nope, that fell off. That's on the floor. Have to get that later. Uh, we got leg motion up and down, double jointed knees, uh, a really nice ankle up and down and a pivot, and it also spins at the ankle. So, really really like this figure and he's doing Shakespeare right now so here is just the speeder bike and the speeder bike is extremely well done 
it is almost an ex I would say an exact replica of what's seen in the movie. I don't I mean I don't see any different than again, you know. It's not like I've studied the uh exact shape of a speeder bike and sculpt, but this looks pretty much like a speeder bike to me. And there's tons and tons of sculpted detail onto this thing. Let me pop that off and we'll uh, take a closer look. Um, at the top here, you have really, really nice sculpted like plating on there with the sheet metal and little, um, I guess those are supposed to be like rivets. rivets. That's what those are called? Yes. Rivets. And you got uh, buttons on there and levers and. And they did not touch the red button. Why? Turbo. Come on, bro. <laughs> Um, and then you got the uh, really well sculpted, uh, handlebars there in the front here, all this extremely well sculpted and even it's really nicely painted on, on the front here, you got some good paint, uh, blotches just to show it's, you know, it's been through stuff. There's, it's got scratches and smudges and, and stuff. It looks really nice at the bottom. There's even a little, uh, a gun here. I don't know if it's supposed to spin. Probably, I don't think it is, but because it kind of may have broken off at the end here on mine. But well, no, no big deal. Uh, all this other stuff down here, really nice. All like the inner workings of a speeder bike. Just really, it looks really, really nice. Um, obviously, before I showed you, you could put the uh, the feet right in the pegs. Even down here on the pedals, still sculpted. It's uh. It's got, um, what do they call it? When it's uh, rigid. It's rigid. So that way the feet, your feet would stay on. So that's uh, that's really cool. On the top, he's, the seat's well sculpted. I really, really like this um, the satch, the satchel or this bag that's attached to the back here. It's just really, that's really well. It looks like looks like a totally different material but it's you know it's just the regular plastic sculpted really well and then of course on the back continued with sculpted rivets and uh, I guess that's supposed to be like the jets on the back so this is an absolutely incredible uh, toy oh my god guys how awesome is this figure I am absolutely in love with this thing it, it is just incredible. Hasbro has done such a good job. I am... I am blown away. It is truly uh, an amazing figure. And this six inch line is just incredible. It's nothing they've ever done. It's so much... And they're just so much nicer than the three three quarter scale Star Wars figures. Because with the six inches you can just get so much more out of them. And... I, I'm, it, it, it amazes me it took them this long to even start making figures because the Marvel has been that size forever. Not forever, but for years. And toys have been in six inch scale for a long time. So, I mean, what took them so long to start making Star Wars, guys? I mean, they had like, I, I, I don't know, it just it baffles me. Next thing they're going to make is a pod racer. I, I mean, I'd buy it. But, you know, it's a lot of people are all, you know, big on... They got hate in the uh, prequel trilogy, but you know. But you got Sabalba. Sabalba. And Anakin. And Anakin. So, um, yeah, they could do that. I'd buy. Then, I'd buy a nice Sabalba pod racer. And then a Watto. I don't know why. Oh, give me a nice six-inch Watto. I think. Oh, I'd love a six-inch Watto. So, uh, just and, and I'm sure there'll be a six-inch Jar Jar. Those will be sitting on shelves for. Uh, quite some time but you'll buy one <laughs> well I'll get one everyone will get one but then they'll, they'll, they'll hate it but they'll buy it because they're a collector and when you're a collector you just buy Star Wars toys because they're Star Wars even if no one likes the character you know alright back to what I was talking about so um, the figure the I guess the more deluxe I guess the deluxe figures they run thirty nine ninety nine, which which uh, Obviously, it is a little steeper than your normal $20 uh, Star Wars bike series, but the they, they speeder bike and is, is incredible. They didn't waste any detail, um, so it's totally worth that 10 bucks. 
or 20 bucks <laughs> math 20 bucks totally worth it um so really really like that uh which is why i'm gonna give this figure a buy so make sure you go to uh it's not, it's not a super buy but just a buy no the, the super buys are uh are very rare Super buys are rare. I think you've given one. I've given one super buy. I forget what it was. Diablo. Oh, okay. Super buy. Super buy Diablo. That's a 26 joints. So, uh, because I always factor in price, too. That is true. So, uh, go out and pick up your, uh, biker scout with speeder bike, uh, at retailers around. Is that comics? I'm sure they'll get them soon. Zap Comics. Just go to Zap Comics anywhere. You know, I mean, to buy everything there because that's my favorite place. That's my favorite place to go to to buy, oh. buy my collectibles. And that's for sure. At regular retail price. So, uh, thank you for watching on this episode of Craig's Stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this this episode again in the newer format. Um, Make sure you follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, subscribe to me right here on YouTube, leave a comment down below, check out the Instagram, and uh, that's, that's the Doppler effect.